Hello MechWarriors and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. It is time finally to continue our wild ride and I was sitting down and I was going through the video comments from another video uh, earlier where you were suggesting some mods and I actually updated and added some mods to the collection. So taking my notes here, uh, we now have better landsmate status. That's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna show it to you on the battlefield. I updated Coyote's uh, mission mod. We also have now yet another inner sphere mech, yet another legendary mech, yet another weapon companion. Mm, fun missions solaris 7 which i'm very excited to test out we have a battle grid orders we have our omni core which is inner sphere omni max as well as empress's legion which is a lot of pirate max so a bunch of new max and equipment stuff and a little bit of quality of life and you know enhanced uh, the content with solaris 7 so looking down here we can now see that coyote has some mod stuff that we can now um access and the first thing that and the only thing currently is aerospace fighters. As far as I understand, you have to go to special um, exploration missions to find these fighters. And then you can also like upgrade them and give them special roles. And they are like three different types of fighters that you can get. Interceptors, multi-role fighters and strikers. And you can see here what they are uh, able to do. But since we don't have any yet, I'm not going to go over it yet because it doesn't make any sense. Also... When looking at our transmissions, we can see that we can now enlist in the Solaris Light, Medium, Heavy and Assault Mech League. And I will totally accept all of those. I'm very excited to test these out. Accept. All right. So, uh, by the way, when we go to the star map and go to Solaris, which is uh, Terra and then a little bit west, uh, it's like here. And now you can see there are some campaign missions that we can play there. Uh, and also we have some priority missions. Ah, I see, we can get Chainsaw here, the Get the Elite Pilots uh, pilot. But it's pretty good, pretty good segue over here. We are currently at battle and we also have a GTE mission here. We want to get Preacher uh, and his mech. Um, is it a mech? I think it is a mech that he is coming with. Uh, and we also have Industrial Espionage, which I'm not too keen on getting. It's a, a one of these random missions. Um, but hey, you know what? Before we go anywhere, I want to quickly take a look at my mechs. And as you can see, well, our grasshopper got hit hard the last time uh, internally. Oh, yes, we have no armor damage because we were coming out of a repair bay from the battlefield. So we need another large chemical laser here to get this guy on the battlefield again. And it seems like we have none. So I'm going to give it a regular large laser. 24 days. Ah, uh, man, it's a fraction of our um, our upkeep here. We also are gonna always gonna factor that and the opportunity cost of having mech re mechs repaired in an industrial uh, in a non-industrial zone, like in a combat zone. But at the same time, I feel like twenty something days is fine. It'll definitely take less time than going to an industrial hub and then repairing there and then coming back. Okay, so also we have a Nova which we want to disassemble and then we're gonna sell the empty carcass for like a massive amount of money we have our new orion hero the uh, the guy here which has no minimum range for long range missiles so that's gonna be a fantastic mech to test out but i think right now we're ready to go we're gonna play the contract to get preacher and then probably go to solaris 7. so here comes the cavalry okay let's be the cavalry let's go for maximum salvage which is not a lot uh get some money as well i guess Okay, here we go. This is gonna be interesting. And I would say, since this is a 24-day rework, I would say we're gonna take this exact uh, setup here and have a good time. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Advancing the timeline. Again, it's uh, almost a month that we have to wait here. And... Uh, it takes money over time. And I think right now we are not really that stable in terms of uh, our economy. Uh, by the way, economy. Uh, some people said I should take the, uh, what's it called? The enhanced loot cache uh, thing, where you can actually find lost tech items and loot caches, and even mechs, you said. But that messes with the economy so much that I don't want it. I would love to have it a bit spicier than normal, but that sounds way too much. And again, I I don't really want to take that, because it'll, it'll break it wide open. And I really like the economy as it is right now. So, yeah gonna keep it as is but if you have any other ideas um that you know add new things that we can have fun with then just let me know down below in the comments if i'm missing something 
that you would say is absolutely crucial. Uh, I usually like to have, you know, more mechs, more weapon systems, more stuff, more toys to play around with. That's usually the, the way to play for me. And I'm very, very keen to see what's coming on uh, on Solaris and these aerospace fighters. So we're playing a battle, battlefield. Um, got our Crusader here with SRMs, short-range missiles, and Inferno missiles, as well as some Flameronis. Uh-huh. Range of the Flamer is only 100 meters. As long as possible. I love her accent. So good, man. Okay. So, uh, by the way, when we go over here, we can see that uh, I have a control over the battlefield with a mouse, which is super sluggish, and I can click one of my guys and send them over here, for example, and I can click the other guy and send them over here. And if we have an enemy here, uh, then we can also send the attack order to these enemies. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I will quickly show you. Secondary objective. Look at that. So that's a that's an attack order. I love it. But I want everybody to follow me because we have an assault mech. Oh god! You gotta be kidding me. Is that all king crabs? No, we have a mechie, we have three king two king crabs, and a Zeus coming our way. Why? Nobody knows. Okay, we're gonna try to overheat some of them. Let's go for blue vision because blue vision helps me. Keeping track of what's going on. Oh my god. Guys, King Crab, now. Now, now, now. I'm out of range. Oh, out of range. I'm out of range. Friends? Attack? Would be great. Yeah, 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 yeah. We took so much damage already for nothing. I mean, we can overheat the Zeus. That's the thing. And he's getting red. Mackie probably also has horrible heat management. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Cyclops. Okay, so we have him under control. Ooh, boy. It's not optimal, though. Uh, Mackie needs some more heat. Stay overheated. Good. Shut down. Cyclops. Reapply the heat. <laughs> Crowd control. We got it. Let's actually go for head. Why not? Uh, okay. You came out of your stasis. Get overheated. Uh-huh. Heat here, heat there, heat freaking everywhere. Why are my people not attacking properly here? Rup. Huh? Where's your head component? How do they take so much damage? It seems like they are not going down. Look at that, they are just eating it! Like a boss! I want your head, baby. <laughs> Alright. We did it! We did it! So, my friends in the outskirts also managed... Oh god. Also managed to fend off the light mechs. Now the actual fight is on. We took a lot of damage to our arms already because of that skirmish. Oh boy, that's not good. That's pretty bad, actually. Mm, I, you know what? I feel like the drop lands here where there might have been elite pilots which just took less damage than normal. So as you can see on the minimap, you can also uh, take a look down there um, to see who has the attack order on who. And uh, it's really good. I like that. I should probably no keep it to my friends or leave it to my friends to take the sand so that I can have some, some armor for later. Oh. Okay, got it. Bulldog. One more second. Down he goes. All right. So, on the other side of the battlefield, my allies are getting shred by a Hollander. It's a Scorpion. Okay, 900 meters. Yeah, I really want to help there, but it's too far away for me. So they are completely on their own. I kind of hope that the Hellbringer stays for a while. It's a very good mech to have on our side. The Marauder is just a good tank for us. Mm. I'm also not really keen on... Okay, here's the thing. Yes, sir. You stay here. I'll come back. Oops. Yeah. I'm stuck. Um, I don't want them to move out that far. Goodbye. Um, because I think the, the main fight is going to happen at the base. So 
what we are doing now is we're gonna go over here and help out. Never mind, we don't have to. Good. And then we're gonna go back. There are flyers coming in. Oh boy. Stuck again. That Igor uh, needs to go. That's a double AC-10 and... Uh, come on. I'm stuck here on the base. We also got a Hollander. Um, an Archer with PPCs. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Guys, did you get the ego already? You're on it. I know. But you gotta be faster with the kills. Next up, here. Bad shot on my behalf. I don't know if my heat missiles actually do anything against these flyers. Did I shut him down? Nah. I didn't. Right? Alright, our Grasshopper. I cannot target him for some reason. Grasshopper took a good chunk of damage as well already. That's not good. And we have, again, 300 meters range. A close range brawler getting into a problematic situation here. Okay, high ground is good ground. On the archer first. That thing is a dangerous one. Get overheated. Thank you. Yeah, man, these guys are falling way quicker than the mechs that we've seen before. Olenda, do you like the heat? I don't know. I mean, you certainly don't like the SRMs that I'm blasting Additional into you. Alright, 10 out of 25. Oh, by the way, a thing that I didn't even uh, point out. Look at the bottom of... We, we now have our whole lands down there. That's so cool. I love it. That's the enhanced... Uh, what's his name? Better landsmate status. That's such a great thing. Great addition. Alright. Archer Flashman. Flashman is hot. It's a very hot mech. Uh, I think I want to go for him first. And then drop to safety. Sneaking up on the archer. Oh. It's getting hot. I'm gonna help him with that. Shut down, Mr. Shutdown. And now you, my friend. The flamers. Oh, beautiful kill. So you, you should be able to get shut down completely. Great, so we can leave you here and go for the rifleman. Uh, sorry, flashman. Far for the flamers. But yeah, he's not going to be able to shoot a lot. In fact, he might even overheat. Oh, okay. So, Archer is still sleeping. Man, this whole battlefield crowd control is it's pretty good. ISIS here. Reporting target destroyed. Somebody's having a good time here. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. So, Javelin. Sorry, I can't do that. Yeah, let's get the whatever that is, Scorpion then. My ammo is still fine. So no problems here. Once you've found the targeted asset, Did I shut down the tank? It, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. I, I think he's still alive. ISIS, reporting mech destroyed. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles inbound. He's not showing up on the sensors anymore. Now he is destroyed. Okay. All right. That was weird, but I'll take it. Ooh, Timberwolf. <laughs> All right. All right. You bring some goodies. Roger. Goodies and baddies at the same time. You know what I mean? Got some tanks flowing in. Okay, on the Flashman. Actually, I should probably hit the Timby first. Yeah, let's give him some heat. He's dangerous. Flashman is overheating himself. In with the Flamers and the Infernos. Let's get this and away. down he goes. Okay, cool. ISIS here. Reporting mech, destroyed. mech destroyed. This is kind of working out. Uh, you know what? There's still a Cyclops, which needs some love and care and SRMs and Infernos. Shut down, buddy. Shut down! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, let's try again for a headshot. I should be right here. This is ISIS. Reporting target destroyed. Problem is, I mean, I can use the flamers and the flamers only. We are kind of spready with the damage. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I think my friend just uh, stole my kill. And hey, that's a Timby. It's parts of some, some parts of a timber wolf there. Mm, scorpion. Got to be a bit careful. And again, I think we shut the tank down. Wait. Yes, we did. More hostiles yes, the we did. Wait. 20 out of 25. 
We disabled the tanks. Did we kill the pilots or whatever? By just overheating them? I don't know. But it was a confirmed kill when they did not move anymore. Oh, Jenna to see. We want to take that guy quickly so that he is not skirmishing with his SRMs in our backs. It's also stuff coming from every side now. Oh, good shot. Good shot. I'm happy about that. That's easy kill. Good. So, dropship down there and then a single mech in this area, I believe. So, going for the Phoenix first. Always try to get the singled out once early. Somebody else coming. Lex? Sure. Never mind. Dead. Next up is Assassin. And we have an awesome and an Uziel. Hello, little one. Overheat. Uh, die? We have a good combo going on here. Uziel, let's go. Double PPC, SRM and double machine gun. Alright, 400 meters though. Closing in fast though. Oh, let's not do that. Don't want to get PPC'd. Okay, buddy, let's go left side. Let's meet up here. Blurp. Flamers. I think we have a very good heat management on our end. I feel like in this mech we could potentially get away with dropping some heat sinks, if that's at all possible. And maybe get some more Inferno missiles in, instead of the flamers, you know, so that we have a bit more uh, overheat potential at mid-range, close to mid-range. Our flamers are like super close range. Again, 300 meters, 270 for the clan SRMs. Here we go. Awesome is actually not bad with heat management. The 8Q. He only is running single heat sinks, but he has a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Ow. That's my arm. Alright, so here's the last guy, and I would say we did our duty here. Let's go and not take any more damage. It's fine. Unless there's a dropship coming down, which gives us a nice opportunity of a wonderful, wonderful mech. But we have timber mech. Timber mech? Yeah. We have timber mech pulse already. Stormcrow. Uh, it's tough. Uh, but again, I don't want to take that much damage anymore. We have some flyers coming in as well. Ego with an AC-20. Let's pack it up. Yeah, let's just go. I wanted to shoot him again. Okay. Yeah, that fight would have probably cost us a bit of uh, component. Maybe our arm. Maybe some other components from the Grasshopper, which was already very damaged. I think we're fine here. Uh, and again, we can take the timber make parts. <laughs> timber wolf, the mad cat. Uh, instead of the Stormcrow. I was hesitant because I believe we have some Stormcrow parts already and finishing that would be obviously a good idea. But we also have some Timby parts. I'll take them. Absolutely. So, we built a timber wolf. That's perfect. We have two more picks. And I'm not gonna look at any of these. I'm gonna take the things that are two picks that I am... Um, Interested in like an SRM4 tier 4. Uh, medium laser is probably better. Alright. So. Uh, yes, we took a good chunk of damage here. But no component was dropped. Uh, I mean, first things first. Salvage assembly. Let's take a look at that bad boy. We had a Whitworth as well. Okay. Assemble mech. Confirm. Uh, it's Borkin. Damn it! Why would you do that to me? Oh, it's completely just garbage. We have the double heatsink kit, the armor, and the structure. Let me see, what do we have here? Structure repair, repair cost negative 25%, 200 meters extra sensor range. Obviously, we have the mobility bonus of the clan mech. Timberwolf Prime gives us 15% jump jet uh, burn time and thrust, as well as 20% less heat generated. That's nice. 20% better energy cooldown. That's good. 5% uh, better energy heat generation, 10% missile spread reduction, and 10% missile cool down. So the Prime has 5 energy hard points. Yeah, it's pretty good. I can see this guy running basically as is. I would probably drop the machine guns. Uh, we need to find like weapons for this, but um, it's good. And it has endurance. Nice. Some extra armor is uh, very, very much appreciated. Cool. We're not building it now because we need to do it in an industrial hub. I can assemble the Whitworth, I guess. For the value. Got an XL out of that. Okay. So that's fine. 
Next mission is gonna be a raid, if I saw that correctly. Mm, maybe we bring the Hellcat and not repair the Crusader. It's 23 days. I want some mobility and more direct firepower. But when I look at all of these guys, we, we can probably do that. Okay, so that's six days. That's a no-brainer. I feel like my Thunderbolt is also just very low on repair time and cost. Who else do we have? Is this guy coming back? How long? Work orders. Hellbringer, 11 days. Yes, I'll take him. So, Grasshopper because of AMS? I like that. And the Crusader can wait until we actually get to an industrial hub. Okay, so we're gonna bring our Hellbringer to the table next. Let's go ahead and play the next mission, sure. Uh, it's Pillage and Burn. We're gonna get that Preacher guy. Alright. Uh, let's go for Salvage, because that's what we are here for. Confirm. The and go. Really kicking up, Commander. So again, these guys are going to be my main dudes, and I want to get the Hellbringer, which is here. It's 19 days. Okay, I can do that. It will be another oh, financial report. It's getting costly. Maybe I shouldn't have built the Timber and the Whitworth, because they now add to our upkeep. <laughs> That was not a good idea. I should do it when I'm actually ready to build them. But I was so curious. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What about our pilots? Training, eight days. We need the better pilots. Training, a hundred days. I can take Snowshoe with me. He's also ready All in eight right. days. That's good. Yeah, he's and a good we one. Are golden. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait to actually get Preacher in here. It's gonna be amazing. You wanna really train your shielding skills. You have a cap of 12 there. You're pretty good with energy. I mean, decent. You're better. Alright. I think this is gonna be my squad. 19 days. I hope everybody is gonna be ready. And oh, I need to check if my Auto Cannon 5 is coming back. Ooh, getting a little laggy here. I swapped in the scrap cannon. Yes. But why only one? Oh, because it's a cannon. It's not the rifle. It's the cannon. It's the big boy. Oh. Oh, I'm excited, guys. Yeah, let's finally play that weird, weird um uh, uh, pirate weapon. Sure. Let's go. Let's have some fun with that. <laughs> okay. I am ready. Let's do it. So again, I think we're playing a raid here, if I uh, was not mistaken. Let's see what we can do. Uh-huh, it's raining. Time to pillage. Our employer wants to destroy enemy assets and raid for supplies. Um, honestly, I don't know how often I would use that battle the grid enemy, command uh, mod. I mean, it might come in handy at some point. I feel like, especially in those exploration missions where you are going and you want to direct your friends from the battle grid. But, um, yeah, let's let's go around. I don't want to be in the canyon. We're going to take the southern base first and then uh, move our way up there. Or from there. Bam. Okay, so. <laughs> Alright, alright. So that is the scrap cannon. It is a multi-shot. It's not a rotary. It's a multi-burst... LB20? Holy crap! That is so good. Oh my god, the spread is massive. Um, it's not pinpoint, it's not efficient, but it is getting the work done. Holy macaroni. Oh, okay, let's do it again. Oh! Yeah, man, do you see that? The spread? <laughs> oh, this is wacky. This is wacky as hell. So we get a patrol. Yeah, come on. Give me, give me something big to shoot at. Something like a like a medium mech or so. I want to see how we're going to sandblast that thing. So yeah, this is kind of like the LB-20 version of the scrap cannon. Who are you? Easy kill. There was a guy with like a violet situation. Uh, signature. Do we have friends? They are fighting each other, that's the thing. Also, I think we... I hear Betty. Faintly, in the background. 
Let me try. Okay, no. She's gone now. So SRMs, eh, they're gonna hurt. But you know what? I hurt more. See how we are not killing with one blast? Also heat. Target acquired. Yeah, Betty is extremely quiet. Oh, is this a toasty boy? This is a very toasty boy. But you know what? I love it. I love this weapon so much. Ah, we ran into um, we ran into a situation here. This is a, like a like a random uh, random waypoint or like random special interest site that we ran into. What's this? Like this satellite array. All right. Oh, we got some treasure. I'll take it then. So yeah, it's a random landmark. That's the word I was looking for. Random landmark that we could investigate. And we find something. Alright. An SRM6 Artemis level 3 is not too bad. So, yet again, I'm, I'm not gonna get the bigger loot caches. Let's go ahead and destroy the first thing here. I think this is what the weapon is really good at. Yes. Yes. Target destroyed. Uh, one thing though, we have a multi-shot weapon. If I... God, man, it's raining. Yeah, if I shoot, uh, they only take one um, piece of ammo out of the bin. So that's cool. That means we can do that a hundred more times. A hundred and eleven more times. Also, I want to see what impact I have on flyers with this. It's not coming up again. It is not coming up. So far, the mission is pretty easy, though. Okay, we had a Whitworth there. Okay, here's the flyer. So we are not fighting at optimal range. Is he toppling? Normally, when you shoot these guys with LBXs, uh, they start to fall. But that seems to not be the case here. Scorpion. Oh, we have a quad mech there. Cool. Yeah, let them come. But hey, we just need to aim in the general direction of this guy and we always hit something. That's pretty cool. Yeah, sound is, I think, broken somehow. Also, again, one of these purple guys again. Is that a locust? Was that a locust? <laughs> it seems to be like a random faction on the battlefield. Alright. Good. So that guy's dead. D-E-D, -E -D, dead. Um, sure. Let's get to the Kintaro. We have 500 meters range. Optimal. We can do that. It's not gonna be... <laughs> so inefficient with the damage. We are dealing damage all over the mech. Which means we have to attack him multiple times. Oh, he's an SRM brawler. Okay, problems. See that? Alright. So I don't know if it's uh, it's, it's me or if it's uh, generally the game, but I really feel like... Oh, this is a pickup. <laughs> that the sound is kind of off right now. Okay. You take it. Do we want to get the Scorpion? I was kind of hoping that he's closing in, but he's not. Uh, that's fine. Ah, uh, there's a dropship. There is a... Spider, Flashman, and a Sentinel. Okay. Let me try to get, like, real close to these guys so that our um, spread doesn't matter. And say goodbye to the Flashman. Where did he go? There we go. Oh, he's not dead. Get out of here. Nice kill, nice kill I would say. Spiderling. 99. Okay, cool. We got the legs down. My legs are also not looking great anymore. Yeah. So the scorpion is not coming in. The, the mech scorpion. So, this is the last piece of base. I wonder if we should hunt down the quad mech, just to have a quad mech, but it's only uh, a medium mech, so I don't really care about him. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I think I'm just gonna go here. Okay. These explode. So we're gonna stay away from them before we go in. Good. And there we go. We did it. So, one more thing. Is there gonna be another wave? Yes, there is gonna be another wave of enemies coming down. 
That actually made an impact on the Igor. <laughs> Just flacking into the sky here. Great. It's getting a little leggy. Yeah, I don't know if I've overloaded my game with mods now. Uh-huh. Alright, there we go. I was kind of hoping for another dropship so that we have another uh, look at some end, uh, some mechs that we can potentially take. Yeah, he's still sitting there. Yeah. Uh, the problem with the Scorpion, the mech, is also it only has two hard points, One missile and one energy hard point, if I remember correctly. Uh, no. <laughs> Just no. Even though I have my Royal Jump Jet, it's not going to work like that. Maybe we can get up here. Come on. Ah, more lift speed. We're gliding on the rocks. Can we? Come on. No! Uh, Alright. Waiting. Waiting. It's being stuck. Nope. I'm stuck. Completely. Yeah, I cannot move back or forth. I think we have to go around. Oh man, I wanted to make a fancy move here, but we didn't get it. So, clear our path and then... God, go! Stupid scrapyard. Okay, so the good news is we actually get to see another enemy. Bad news is that we might be completely stuck now. No, we're not. Not quite. Holy macaroni. So, let's get out of here. I wonder if the fire starter is somewhere. Don't think we destroyed him, right? Maybe we did. Well but yeah, I would also say that was a job very well done. Yeah, the Manticore can just stay there. I don't really care about him. Cool. That was fun. That was fun as hell. I kind of like the weapon, but again, I don't think it's good. It's just funny. And it fires fast. And, you know, you always hit something with it, because <laughs> you basically clutter the whole screen with ballistic pellets and bullets. All right, we have reached reputation rank 11. We're gonna get a million C builds. We get an autocannon and an SRM. Not bad. What the hell do we pick here? We can finish a Thunderbolt for some money. Oh, and a Whitworth. Yes. Did I not just build a Whitworth? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna take two more parts of the Whitworth. That's good, because we might be able to get an XL engine. We can also finish that Assassin. Maybe... Ooh. It's some tier 4 weapons. I wanted to say maybe that's the thing that this mission gives us. I think it's fine. I think we'll, we'll settle with the uh, LRM 10. Where were they? Here. Yeah, I'll take two of them. I'm not really interested in, in getting all four, anyways. All right. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes, of course. And then we get Preacher, and Preacher comes uh, not with a mech, but with a stack of weaponry. We have ooh, two PPC tier 5, two, no, four medium lasers tier 5. Uh, I think everything is tier 5, yeah. Uh, two SRM6, four SRM4, an active probe, not bad. And EW countermeasures, that's great. It's not a Guardian ECM, it weighs very, very much and is not really that good, but it is better than nothing right now. And of course we get Preacher, a tier 60 pilot, and I love it. Uh, kill Kentaro Max. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Auto Cannon 2, Burst Fire, sure. And an upgrade point. Clay Maroni. We get one point right now, so we're gonna save it. Uh, anything else? X marks the spot because we just got more reputation. Man, we need to get to a cantina, we need to get to an industrial hub, and you know what, looking at the time right now, I would say that was a great intro uh, coming back to the Mech Warrior 5 series, and don't worry, I tried to actually cycle through my series again in a proper way, so Mech 5, Rogue Tech, Mech Online, Mech 5, Rogue Tech, Mech Online, and so on and so forth. Uh, I couldn't do it lately because I completely messed up my schedule, so it's coming back, guys, it's gonna be there regularly again, don't worry. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you you haven't already and i hope to see you next time goodbye